Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to female karate black belt get exposed by untrained man. Guys, let's get straight into this. Oh my god, this boy is wicked like It's time to show her that We're not equal bro You know, if she's a black belt, <laughs> then I guess I can just pull up to her gym and get one myself And I know there's a clear weight and gender difference, but this man has got no idea how to fight <laughs> And he just made it look like he was trying to swat a mosquito Hey, is the seat taken? Uh, yeah, kinda what's your, uh, what's your PR? 395 no, that's not that good. Uh, I'm in the middle of the set. That's okay. Carry on, you can carry on. Uh, I don't know if my girlfriend would like that, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, whatever. We must stay focused, yeah. brothers. We must stay focused. Whether it's a prank or not, if he did this to her, there's only one place he's going. You going to jail. You're going going again. Again. What are some challenges as a guy, would you guys say? I've been on dating apps since I turned 18, and they're very discouraging to say the least. I don't get a lot of action from girls, and I feel like there's endless options for women, whereas for me, it's just always been a challenge. I feel like no guy would be saying that. Like, we're not talking about why girls have so many options. I feel like that was a little, little telling on themselves. Like, maybe they got options, like, and they trying to, like, push a the suspicion away. I actually dance too. I don't like to perceive it as feminine because I go to a liberal arts school where it's kind of popular to do that, but I just started doing it this last year. It gives me a, a space to just kind of let loose, I guess, because I'm in a frat, so <laughs> it's a little awkward for me sometimes. Yeah, well, what frat are you in? Delta Tell Delta. All right, yo, vote that dude off, chick or slash dude, and then end the game after that. Vote you didn't get into the frat, did you? Vote him You didn't or get her a bid? Off. You didn't get a bid, did you? Trust oh, me, I don't mad. need to get you're no mad. frat. You're mad, you're <laughs> mad. Imagine playing this game with a non-binary, whatever gender you feel like, pronoun police. They go mad. Were they white? No. Were they black? No, color doesn't matter, you bigot. Were they fat? That's body shaming, sorry. What do they look like? A human. That's who you're getting from me, you pig. Okay, witness says we're looking for an angry, bio smelling pink-haired dog with a nose ring over. Walter keeps misgendering me, look. No. No f***ing way. No way. Okay, we're gonna try this. Hell no! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, let's try again. You're a guy, bro. Yeah, this donut definitely needs Michael. Get some help. Don't want to give birth? I get your period? Be a man. <laughs> Can this replace a man? Can this replace a woman? This is the craziest divorce of all time and the internet can't decide who to support. Back in 1994, Gabriel met Christina at a party and they really hit it off. They ended up getting married even though she was 30 years younger than him. They were happily married for 20 years, but one day Christina decided that she wanted to get a divorce. But when she went to her lawyer, she was shocked to hear that she was already divorced from Gabriel 20 years ago. And this is because four months after their marriage, the couple went to the Dominican Republic for a vacation. And Gabriel divorced her there because that's the only country where one party can file for a divorce without informing the other party. Sensation. Whoa. And he says that he did this because he knew that Christina would divorce him and try to take all his money. 
Someone said she wanted to play a long game and she lost. You played yourself. Let's be honest, she'd have probably never even looked in his direction if he wasn't rich, which is probably why I did what he did. But what's the point of marrying someone that you know is only with you for your money? If you feel like you got to deceive someone or you're being deceived, they're probably not the one for you. No way, he put the dude he guarding girl on his back plate. We gotta be the that one there was a violation, personally I wouldn't have been. In this village, girls rely on a unique approach to finding a husband. They snatch them. Huh? Once they've successfully snatched a boy, they bring him to a thatched hut, regardless of his appearance. This is a long-standing local tradition. Due to a scarcity of men in this area, when a boy passes in front of a thatched hut, the girls enthusiastically greet him, hoping he'll come inside. However, when faced with such warmth, the boys often act shy, politely declining the offers, yet the girls are persistent. Here boys and girls can engage in a three-day trial marriage. If they find each other suitable, they can get married. The boy's family only needs to provide a pig. If the girl is dissatisfied, she can send the boy away and continue her search for an ideal partner. The man in front of us hasn't even reached the hut, yet he's already surrounded by several girls. Oh, say less! <laughs> Now, if you want an passport, bros, then calm down. Don't go booking your flights or looking for pigs. It says here, this is a tradition exercised by one minority group in Cambodia, less than 1% of the total population. The general population doesn't have any idea what this is. Would only drink water. When that you were was... eating grapes and lettuce, were you thin? I was the thinnest I could be. Were you still big, I though? Not... I was still big, but that was the skinniest I've ever been. And that's coming from somebody who was only eating somewhat salads that are just fruit and lettuce and water and maybe ice what a load of bollocks well she must have just done it for a day and expected results it don't happen overnight you donut there's no way you're telling me that she only ate that consistently and lost no weight at all that just makes no fucking sense i mean it's just bullshit before i walk away how much should a guy make i don't think money matters it's really what's in your heart bullshit come on no i'm being serious i mean if they have a good personality and they can make you laugh that's all what a girl looks for i mean per me personally so if you're an rn and he works at a warehouse you gonna date him yeah i would honestly if we're looking at my exes yeah okay so none of that bs where he has to make like 100k no, not at all. If I'm wearing the pants and I can make money, then we'll be set for the rest of our lives. Are you going to hold him against him if you're making more money than him? No, not at all. That's bullshit. We must she protect rules, these cats right. at all costs. Can you give me a spin? Oh, I don't think I can do that. That's a little inappropriate. Oh. <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come on, man. You know she's got a bit of class and self-respect when she don't do that dumbass 360 thing. Most of these other Muppets, they do it straight away. What's your type? You. Yeah. Me? Yeah. For real? Yeah. I'm leaving here with something. Okay, look, I'm gonna get all three of your numbers. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Happy New Year. I told you when I first came here, I said I ain't come here to waste my time. We got women out here can't find a man because they acting like him. Mm. You are alpha. Mm. Now the alphas all want these subservient husbands. You can't have one. No. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Mm -mm. Sorry about that. Okay, go ahead. Boy, you done got me canceled. How many times in this program? Yeah, long term, most men do not want to be with a woman that's trying to be more of the man in a relationship. Not even the cats want them women anymore. Because I right feel now. like I'm gonna be abandoned right now. Like you're just like mm. everyone else who tried to leave me and i just don't know you, you made a decision you're and you got caught me. decision to do what like, you linked somebody and you got caught it wasn't even that serious it wasn't that serious stop he was a hooper stop. he played basketball yes <laughs> but it wasn't that serious like y'all like it. actually yeah like, but it was just the one time thing it was even for that long i beg your pardon so i don't even know why you're bugging like it was not even for that long like, can you please come back with me? Please? Get off of me. Please come Don't back. Like, stop. <laughs> Just please. Don't touch me, bitch. You only did it because you didn't answer your phone. Like, you never answer your phone. Like, you All right, only... how long was this going on for? Like, though? for a month. But it wasn't even that serious. Did you, did you read that for? Yeah, but. Yeah. Why are you right, asking gonna... me that? I'm the graphic and Like, where are you? Don't waste no more time if she cheats. She belongs to the streets. Straight up, like. Guys, this, this was fun and I love his videos because like, his videos are always amazing like Bro, but the first, like It's, it, it was fun The fact that they wanted to fight each other and It, it, it was fun I know some people are gonna hate me because a man was hating a woman but like It was an agreement they had to fight and Bro
the the guy wasn't joking at all, bro. But I feel women should have self expression and stuff like it's something that I believe that this twenty twenty first century women are losing, like they are losing self respect, like getting it with any guy that is cute or say hi or say hi to them like it's fucked up. I feel they are losing that self respect and it's heartbreaking. Okay, tell me what you think about this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.